this one lesson, you could just make a little pamphlet out of this one lesson and carry it with you everywhere. That's all you need. <laughs> it's the truth. Just to remember this lesson can save you a lot of pain and suffering and allow miracles to show up in your life on a more regular basis. Just remembering like, you know what? I'm not, this law is not my law. It's not, I'm not under this law. I'm under God's law. God says I can't be hurt. God says I can't be sick. God says I'm all powerful, ever extending love, just like God. Will you hold that thought in your mind? It melts away the other thoughts, ideas, beliefs, interpretations, judgments that are generating whatever experience you seem to be having in this moment. I am under no law but God's. That's it. All the other laws, and we're going to read about that in a moment, really do not apply unless I believe in them. So I like to say, stop believing and start receiving. Like our belief mechanism mostly does a lot of damage. Truth is true whether I believe it or not. And the truth is I'm under no laws but God's. Anything that causes you fear, pain, or suffering, sense of lack or loss in any way, limitation, is because we're believing in the laws of the world. And saying this one simple truth and holding it in your mind can free you of all of those limitations, even here at this level. I don't say this lightly. I am not foolish. You know, the Course does say this is nothing but a dream, nothing but an illusion. It's no more than illusion, but it's no less than an illusion either. And what it's saying is we invent this, this illusion with our minds, and our minds are the gift of God. They are so powerful that we create an illusion so convincing we would never get out of here, out of this illusion, left to our own devices. God had to send in the Holy Spirit to tether to truth so that there was always a way out. And eventually we will find our way back to truth, back to knowledge. But don't underestimate the power of the illusion. And also we get to respect it and honor it. There's nothing in the Course saying you shouldn't pay your taxes or you know, don't participate in the world at this level. We get to do that, but we get to do that remembering the laws of God and bringing those laws into this world. That is our job. Our job is not ignoring the world or disappearing the universe. Our job is to bring heaven to earth, to create a happy dream where the uh, nightmare once was. That's the step out. That's the, that's the work we're here to do. Beyond that, we don't have the ability. The rest is God's. When we get ourselves close enough by practicing what the Course is asking us to practice, which is simply forgiveness, and forgiveness in the Course's terms just simply means asking to see the truth. We practice that. As we practice forgiveness, we get miracles. Miracles are experiences that are outside the laws of the world. We're bringing the laws of God into the world that supersede those laws we get to experience. But each miracle is a chain, is a link in the chain of atonement, the Course says. That's what we're here to do. We are miracle makers, not of our ego, but of our surrendering of the ego and allowing Holy Spirit to move through us out into the world. And so that's the work, and it's not necessarily easy. It's a simple idea, but like I say, the, the world can be very convincing. So your body feels pain. If you stub your toe, you're going to believe you have a body. <laughs> if anybody's ever stubbed their toe, I mean, God dang it, that hurts, right? Like that is, but according to the Course, and we'll read this in a moment, that's the purpose of the body is to, and, and all of what happens to it is to make you believe you are one. And so it's, it's doing its job. We have observed before how many senseless things have seemed to you to be salvation. And so like senseless things, you know, your car, the nice car, the nice house, the great relationship, the hot guy, the hot girl, the savior, boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever you want to call it, the money, the job, the prestige, the position, the country that you want to move to or the traveling you want to do, all those things the ego believes are its salvation, are going to save it from the pain and suffering of the illusion. And it says, we have observed before how many senseless things has seemed to you to be salvation. Each has imprisoned you with laws as senseless as itself. Now, I want to say this so we don't get confused. This doesn't mean these things may not show up in your life. 
It may not be appropriate for you at this level as God sees or as the Holy Spirit sees it necessary to move you forward in your mission at your level. Maybe that you get a great car, a nice house, a great guy or girl, whatever. That's all in the plan to get allow you to be the bringer of heaven to earth in your way. The idea is that when you're looking to those things to save you, rather than as things that come with the package part of the plan, then you're off, you're askew, you're caught in the laws of the world, and they're not going to bring you saving, they're not going to bring you peace and joy, they're going to ultimately call more, cause more pain and suffering. 